Welcome to our Chicken Mania Collaboration Coopside Chat. Uh, we're going to share a little bit about our chickens today. So basically we have three chickens, we have a red comet, and we have two Easter Eggers. And we started off with six last year, and we have, we've actually downgraded to three now. We are thinking about getting another one. We've been looking at some online, we just haven't made a decision on exactly what we want and if we want to get them. Yeah, I'm looking all the time on there, but not many are for sale. So this is like still pretty new to us. We've only been doing this for about a year, right? Over, a little over a year yeah. now. But we've learned a lot. Researched how to set up a coop. Coops and bedding and feeding them and care for them and what they need and just... And nesting boxes and runs and... It's just a lot of little stuff. So we've learned a ton. The one thing is that we've learned is that they're a lot easier to take care of than we thought, I guess. Yeah. Um, we overthought it, I think, beginning. When we were building our coop and preparing for the chicks, we were worried and studying and, you know, just overthinking everything. And they're actually pretty easy to take care of. So yeah. I guess don't overthink it is the biggest thing. And once you know it, it's like so basic, basic yeah. stuff. Simple. When we designed our coop, um, there's a couple things that we want to show, some tips that we figured out that we thought would be handy for you guys if you either have chickens or thinking about having chickens. You know, something to consider. Um, I'll let Ashley do hers first. So when we first started, we started out with pine shavings, probably what most people start with or still do. And it was really hard to scoop every day, so we were looking into alternatives for bedding. And then we came across sand bedding, and that has been working amazing. Like I will never go back to pine shavings ever. Like I can just take this and scoop it like every day, and it's like so clean, and you just have to add to it once in a great while, and it's like perfect. Yep. And the one thing I would add is if you have an out, if you have a coop that's going to get wet, sand isn't going to be the ideal thing for you. No. If water can get in, or if it's outside, don't use sand. It's going to smell. It's going to get nasty. If it's dry, it works beautifully. Yeah. We also don't want uh, pine shavings getting wet either. No, Those that's true. Reek. Yeah. So I guess the other thing is our nesting box. Um, I'll take you over so we can show it to you. This is our nesting box. I'm sorry, it's a little crowded over here. But what we did was we ended up building a communal box. Um, most people build, you know, the standard nesting boxes that you see everywhere. With like the dividers. Um, but I, after doing a lot of research, I ran into somebody who was talking about these commu communal boxes and I thought I'd try it out and we love it. Uh, this is something that we would, you know, recommend to anybody doing a small flock. Um, chickens like to share a nesting box. Everybody says they build six boxes or ten boxes and their chickens squeeze into two of them. So we decided why waste time? We'll just make one big box. And we've had multiple chickens in here before. There's plenty of room and they just like it just fine. It's simple, you know, you don't have to worry about individual sections. Um, we lined the bottom with this uh, floor mat, like a doormat that you rub your feet on. Uh, it's just like a plastic mat. We cut it to fit, and it's amazing. It's so easy to take care of, and it, the eggs never break. We always have nice eggs in there. And they're very clean. We've tried hay and different things in here, and they would just eat it all and throw it out and make a mess. This just stays here, and it's perfect. So the nesting box is our favorite thing. It works good. The eggs are spotless when we take them out, and we just love it. So. And another thing with nesting boxes is you don't want to build them too high. You don't want it to be so the chicken can stand up in it because if they can stand, they're going to poop in it. And you don't want poop in your nesting areas. Yeah, if you That's want... how you keep your box clean. So build it short. Keep it short. 12 inches or under should be fine. I good. think that's a really good tip. Super tip. Um, because a lot of people have problems with chickens want to sleep in the nesting box or... And you don't want that. Yeah. Just make it short and dark and they'll be totally happy in there. Yeah, we don't have any problems like that at all. We don't clean this. This is just how clean it stays on its own. Yeah. Like forever. <laughs> and another thing is a lot of people have trouble deciding what kind of floor to put in their coop. And we found that ceramic tile works really good. You just put it down there, it's all natural, it doesn't smell, like vinyl does. 
we were gonna do vinyl and it smelled really bad. We really hate uh, vinyl products and PVC products, so we try to avoid it the best we can. So, so that's been working great. Another thing is, if we were to do another coop somewhere else or redo it all again, we wouldn't have the water in the coop because waters leak a lot of water. Like we have nipples in here. And when they peck at it, the water goes everywhere. And that's why we had to put this tray here. Because if you don't put anything under it, your sand or your pine shavings or whatever you have will get really wet and you don't want that. Yeah. So we would move, we would actually move the water outside. Yeah, we've been learning a lot because we're preparing. This is kind of a, an experimental phase that we're in. We're preparing for when we move eventually in the future. And in the future, we already know that we would put the water outside, the feed outside. We wouldn't bother feeding them in the coop. Yeah. Um, that was a mistake. And um, they only really want to come in their coop like at night to mm -hmm. sleep in their on their perches. But ours are spoiled, and they always want to be in the coop because it's where the food and water yeah. is. Otherwise, they'd be outside where they should be. Yeah. And um, so these are our two Easter eggers, the white one and the gray one. They lay like a light greenish egg, and that one lays a light brown egg. This is our chicken run. It's pretty basic. Um, we used a kennel panel for the uh, door just to make it simple. Uh, we thought about expanding it, but this is big enough for what we have. It's about five feet wide, maybe to a little less than 12 feet long. Yep. And how many chickens can that hold? Probably like four or five, right? It'd be like 60 square feet, It'd be like six chickens. Yeah. yeah, I would put six in here comfortably, no more than that, probably. Uh, we recently started putting, uh, you know, straw and bedding and pine down, uh, mulch and stuff. We've been throwing that in here and they love it and it's been a lot better than this, the, the dirt, so. And it has no smell at all. You wouldn't even know there's chickens here. Mm -hmm. Like, there's zero smell. Because I know some people think that chickens smell, but they really don't if you do it right. Mm -hmm. I've smelled places where the chickens smell. Me too. But then we've been to properties that have a ton of chickens and you don't smell anything. So Depends on how you do it. If you take care of them, you, won't, you don't have a smell. And not to say that you, people aren't taking care of them, but if, yeah. if, if it's set up properly, you shouldn't have a smell. Yeah. There's always ways to, to, to solve those issues. We also learned... Um, how to butcher chickens. A couple months ago, one of our chickens was having a problem. So we just decided to dispatch her. So we installed that killing cone over there. And that was a whole new learning experience, butchering the chicken. Yeah, the killing cone was a little bit scary, but we, uh, we made it through. Stainless steel cone. We put it on a vinyl, uh, post cover so that it'd be easy to keep clean and as you can see there's no blood um, yep it washes right off this so there's another tip I guess if you have chickens and you plan on butchering them it's a setup that worked good for us yeah um, and we stuck the rest of them inside don't kill your chickens in front of the other chickens that's just yeah not it's just don't so we hope you learned something and maybe we gave you some things to think about um, it's pretty simple if you want chickens feel free to try them uh, we know a lot of people talk about the chickens being the gateway animal into homesteading or, you know, you want once you start with chickens, you want so much more, you want more chickens. Hasn't really been the case with us. So. No, I feel like we wanted other things, like even before we've had these, because we've had goats in the past. Our first animals were goats. We had four goats uh, before we moved here. Yeah, um, I was in high school, so that uh, was a while ago. Uh, yeah, a while back. We had to get rid of them just because of the, the, the situation we were living in. But um, we've always been interested in animals and raising yep. food and raising... We actually wanted to raise meat goats. So that's our yeah. calling. <laughs> but, I still would do that. Yeah. But uh, we just can't do that here. Um, I've always wanted bees. But I don't know. We're not obsessed with chickens. A lot of people love them. We like them. They make our eggs. But that's it. We've... We're, we're, we like them, we enjoy them, I don't want to like downplay it, but it's not like an obsession of ours, I guess. We would love to try ducks and, and, and quail and other things. And, Pheasants. Uh, mm. um, I think we would just like all kinds of different birds. Yeah. So, we can see where it would be exciting though. If, if you get into chickens and, and you see how cool it is to take care of them and watch them, yeah, definitely, it's awesome. But 
for us. Yeah, and there's a lot of different breeds and they're all so pretty and yeah. interesting. So um, I guess that's it um, for our video. I hope you enjoyed it. So this was a collaboration set up by Heidi over at Rain Country. I'm really thankful that she included us in this. And there's going to be a list of her channel and a whole bunch of other channels that are also going to be talking about their chicken experiences. And you can look at that in the, des in the description. Yeah, there's a ton of great channels out there and there's a ton of great people with chickens and they have a lot of um, good advice and great videos about it. So just check everybody out. If you want chickens, this is how you learn. This yeah. is how we learn. See Looking, what they have so. to say about their experiences. Yeah, because everybody's different and you know, our situation might be a lot different than yours. So there could be somebody that could guide you in a better way than we can. So um, that's it. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Take care. We'll see you next time. Bye.